With our endpoints configured, it's time to learn more about the runtime engine that runs our process, the Boomi Atom. The Boomi Atom is a lightweight, self-contained runtime engine. It can handle a combination of SaaS to SaaS or SaaS to on-premise integrations from one platform. We can deploy it behind the firewall for on-premise integrations or in the cloud. It provides clustering capability through the Boomi molecule and enterprise-grade security. The Boomi Atom Cloud provides an optional hosted environment for deployment. Regardless of the deployment option, all Atoms provide runtime metadata to the platform for continuous monitoring. Soon we're going to configure our own cloud Atom to test our process. This lets our process to connect to the newly configured endpoints to pull in the data from the FTP and send it to our work directory. We're about to run our test process, but before we do, we must enable the runtime Atom to handle the process execution. We'll talk more about atoms during the deployment and manage section of this class, but for now let's enable the two atoms which we will be using in training, the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud and the Test Atom Cloud. We're now going to complete exercise 7, enable the Atom Cloud and the Test Atom Cloud. This is in your activity guide on pages 22 to 24. All right, we're going to do exercise number seven to enable the Atom Cloud and the Test Atom Cloud. We're on our welcome page. We're going to come over towards his Atom runtime, and the first item we're going to click on is the Atom. There are two types of atoms. There are local atoms and in the cloud. For the setup preference, we're going to select in the cloud. Now, when we select in the cloud, there are two types of atoms. There are the Atom Cloud and the Test Atom Cloud. We're going to start off by selecting the Test Atom Cloud, and we're going to give it an atom name of Test Atom Cloud. Now I'm going to click the OK button, and we get a message saying our new atom has been set up in the Test Atom Cloud. We're going to click on the Close button now. We're going to do this again, but this time we're going to do it for the Atom Cloud. So we're going to click on Runtime and then Atom, once again in the cloud, and we're going to select the only one that's out there right now, which is the Atom Cloud, and we're going to call it the Atom Cloud. We're going to click on the OK button. Once again, we get a message saying our Atom has been set up in the Atom Cloud. This concludes our video, but please complete exercise number seven before moving on to the next video.